Located four miles away from York city center, York Maze is a unique rural attraction that everyone can let themselves get lost in a day, full of fun and activities. This summer, Tom Piercy created a giant maze by using two portraits of Harry Potter faces, making it world's largest game of spot the different competition. Over 15 meters in diameter each face is also believed to be the largest image of Daniel Radcliffe ever created. This year is the, uh, the date we, we opened was the same week that the final Harry Potter film was released. So it was like a, you know, the landmark event in the Harry Potter series and we wanted to commemorate it in some way. So we thought it would be a great idea to use uh, Daniel Radcliffe's face to make a maze. It's a good idea and obviously this year with the big Harry Potter film things, it's obviously going to draw in a few more crowds, a few more people. I think it's brilliant. What do you think, Milo? Do you brilliant. think that brilliant? The maze is really good, isn't it? We really like Harry Potter as well. I think we saw the first thing on the television with the Harry Potter faces, and we've also seen the signs, and we've known about it for a while. Very, very good. Yeah, we've quite enjoyed it. Have you enjoyed it? Yes. If they take the map with them, and they walk around and they can see that where they're walking corresponds to the map, then they understand that it is the Harry Potter image. But if you go into the maze, you have no concept of where you are, and without the map, it's just a field of maze, and you can't believe that, that it actually looks like something. There are small differences between the two faces. So part of the challenge, you go around the maze, but you also have to see if you can notice any differences between the two faces. Only three people officially worked on the design, and it took Tom and his team around one month to sort of everything from design to cutting process. He started the maze since 2002, creating 10 impressive and precious designs. Every year we do something different, so uh, next year we're looking for interesting ideas. Uh, already we're thinking the Olympics in the UK next year, so maybe something to do with the Olympics. Uh, and it's also the anniversary of the famous ship, the Titanic, sinking. So we're thinking about maybe we could make a life-size Titanic the same size as the real boat, so you could walk from room to room within the, within the Titanic. So there are lots of good ideas for next year. Besides the maze, there are a lot of fun activities for children to be entertained, such as feeding animals and pig raising. It is a good chance for children to stay close to nature, animals, and to learn a lot of things about farming life. My daughter benefits from coming here because there's lots of physical activity for her to take part in. Um, so she's getting lots of exercise and running around. There's also educational stimulus in terms of in the maze where they're being asked to find the answers to questions and then it's good for them to get access to the animals as well. It will be an interesting summer for the whole family to come to York Maze and enjoy holiday with Harry Potter. <laughs>